from a genomic point of view, uh, we have many different aspects we can look at to tell whether the plasma cell cancer, let's say, we're looking at looks like an indolent uh, expansion which is not likely to cause problems in the near to medium term future or whether uh, the plasma cell cancer has features of an aggressive uh, multiple myeloma condition. So this question you can ask at time zero. So when you do the sampling, uh, you can immediately tell whether the presence or absence of certain features would categorize your case as indolent or aggressive. Now the question is also how do things change over time and that relates to the evolution you're asking about um, and, and interestingly again there is a disconnect between clinical and genomic evolution because of the aggressive of the genomically aggressive um, cases that we can find uh, what happens is that they tend not to change much over time, yet what changes is the clinical um, journey of the patient because as years or months go by, this patient will likely develop anemia or bone lesions or renal failure. Um, and uh, But genomically, cases that are aggressive from the start may incrementally become more aggressive from a genomic point of view but without revolutionizing their genomic makeup. Uh, on the contrary, of course, we do have cases that um, look indolent from a genomic point of view, but in the years will evolve uh, to an aggressive disease. So this is something that happens over a longer time frame on average. Uh, and in these cases, what, what we see is that um, I would say a clone, a group of cells that was the majority of tumor cells at time zero, which looked indolent, is taken over by a second clone, which could be either underrepresented at diagnosis or newly acquired from scratch um, at time one or you know at the second time point after uh, diagnosis. And it is this new uh, subclone, uh, of course, an evolution of the first clone, which changes nevertheless and takes over, which dictates a new clinical behavior, which you can also detect uh, through genomic analysis. And of course, clinical, clinical translation of this is whether we're able to pick up these changes as they happen over time through mean invasive techniques, because no one would like to have repeated bone marrow sampling uh, yearly or, or so.